30 Minutes of Umoria, show 122. Hello! Welcome to 30 Minutes of Umoria. Let's start playing the game. <clears throat> this, the 122nd show of 30 Minutes of Umoria, is brought to you by the lowercase letter P. The lowercase letter P represents 29 different creatures in Umoria, one of which is the priest. The priest is usually found at depths of 600 feet and moves at normal speed. It is magical, casting spells which cause light wounds or paralyze its prey, one time in five. It has an armor rating of 22 and a life rating of 7 by 8. It can open doors. It is warm-blooded and susceptible to frost and fire. It takes quite a while to see intruders, which you may notice from 200 feet away. The priest may carry one or two objects or treasures. It can hit to attack with damage 2 die 3. The priest. Before we get started, let's check out the Wheel Source Code. All right, okay, let's look at some source code. And the function will be what the wheel says. Original commands. Original commands. 190 lines long. Dungeon.c. I know what this one's all about. Original commands. There it is. Okay. You know that Moria has roguelike commands and also Moria key commands. So there's two different keyboard layouts that it uses. Not keyboard layouts, but J means a different thing in both, right? So, oh boy, I can see that Vim is confused. So for each letter, for each key command, we uh, translate it to the other one. Now, I believe this is the Moria original commands, not the roguelike commands. Because there is another sister function called roguelike commands. Or something like that. <laughs> there it is. Rogue underscore like commands. Hmm. Or maybe I'm confused now. If roguelike commands is false, then original commands, right? So these are all Moria style. Let's get down to ones that are normal here. These are, uh, this is the keypad right here. All right. A is Z, aim or zap, remember that? B or P, browse or peruse, mm -hmm. and so on. There are a lot of empty ones here that don't do anything. I think the T is tunnel and tunnel, and so on and so forth, till we get to the bottom. So all it is is a big switch statement that changes the roguelike commands to the Moria commands. And this is the way it supports two different uh, sets of commands. Very neat. All right, so we've already started seeing the caller. He's up here, right there. And yeah, that's that. That is the original commands function of dungeon.c and the Umori sources. And that concludes the Wheel of Source Code. All right, there's our title screen of Umoria 5.6. Please send your bug reports to grabner at alumni.princeton.edu or to the Usenet group, Usenet group, rec.games.roguelike.moria. Nobody checks that anymore. That's crazy talk. Here's our character sheet. His name is Yishad. He's an elf male mage. He's 108 years old, and he's 37th level, which is very, very good. 
It's Balrog worthy, and that's what we're trying to do. Trying to kill the Balrog at the end, at the bottom of this dungeon. <clears throat> it goes on forever, but the Balrog shows up at 2,500, and we're at 2,100 feet below the top. So, here's what's in our pack. We have, of course, books of magic, a bunch of mushrooms, some food, some oil for the lamp, <clears throat> a bunch of potions, some scrolls, some manuals, some staffs, and other stuff. Uh, the main things I'm really excited about here is the Rune of Protection scroll and the two potions of invulnerability. We are going to drink those when it comes time to take on the Balrog. <coughs> so, that being said, let's continue the clearance of 2100. Now, this isn't the lowest we've been. I believe our lowest is 2150. 2150. One level below this one. <clears throat> now, not many things can kill us at this level. Only two things. Realistically, only two things. Uh, one is an ancient dragon that is green. And the other is an ancient dragon that is um, multi-hued. Now there is a very good weapon. Plus 7, plus 11 katana. 3 die 4. But it is slay undead. Now if it was slay evil, we would have something to keep. Because it would be useful against the Balrog. <clears throat> so that is one of the better weapons we've ever found. But we're not going to keep it. No sir. And yeah, like I like to say, there are no babies anywhere in the in the dungeon. Not a one. Why is that? We have all these monsters. Surely there must be babies. <laughs> Why not? Anyway, that's just my joke. <clears throat> Alright, because I hear kids out there. So we're just going to do some cleanup here. Um, we like to clear each level by touching every tile. Lighting all of it up, like so. Alright, there is half of it done. How about that? Half of 2100 complete. Um, it could be that we will find another Potion of Invulnerability, or a Scroll of Rune of Protection. We can hope. Because that's all that's stopping us from going down. Down to 2500. And looking around for a big giant capital B. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we'll do one day, one day soon. But like anything, well, like a lot of aspects of this game, you uh, you have to be very, very patient. <clears throat> when I first won the game, I have to say I was ridiculously patient. Um, it was difficult to uh, do, obviously, but um, what was I going to say? Hang on. Got it. And I was way overmatched. Like, I, I I, wasn't overmatched, I was undermatched against the Balrog. I could have killed two or three Balrogs, easy. I had so many um, potions of invulnerability, it was ridiculous. There is a good sword. Now, if this one slay evil, we'll be keeping it. No, it's not. Well, <clears throat> moving on. 
we see a capital D. Now, if that D is an ancient green dragon or an ancient multi-hue dragon, we will not kill it. We will run away from it. Indeed. There's the room, folks. Ancient multi-hue, we are leaving. Now. As we leave, he could have woken up. And he could be approaching the doorway. And we can't leave fast enough. So as we move every step, we're watching that doorway to see if the big capital D shows up. Because if he does show up and he's awake, he could breathe on us and kill us instantly with 666 points of poison gas. So I'm going very slowly and I'm checking that doorway. Okay, we're free. He's still asleep. However, when we clear this room down here, he could totally wake up, so we have to watch out for that very thing with lots of Detect Monster spells. Alright, there's that. So let's go to town and clear this. We could totally find something useful here. Alright, Wand of Haste Monster, Filthy Rags, Pike. What's that? Cure Serious Wounds, not interested. What's that? Enchant Weapon, we could use that. Didn't work, unfortunately. <clears throat> Whoa, here's the stuff. Oh, I don't like that worm. Alright. I think I might have sacrificed that uh, potion that was there. Yeah, it's no longer there. Who knows if that was good or bad. Not high, not high. So now we will ask the question, is that ancient multi-hue dragon awake? It doesn't seem to be. You have to recheck and check and check because he can move pretty fast. Well, he can move normal fast, but when he moves it's a problem. Put it that way. There you go. So, looks like we have a good two-thirds done. Oh, Come on forward there, ghosty. There he is. Ooh, what'd you drop? Whoa, heads up. An ancient white dragon has just come in the room. Whew. Thank goodness we noticed because it could have been an ancient green all the same. Now he's awake already. So the best thing we can do is put on our slay dragon weapon. And now we hope that he doesn't breathe on us. That's what we hope. Because he can break the things in the pack that we find very valuable. The potions of invulnerability and the rune of protections. Maybe he's not awake. Maybe I just noticed him then. There's two. Here's three. Now we're going to back him up to a preferential place. Back him up. And kill him here. Bam. Well, it doesn't look like he dropped anything of value, really. 
a ring, some gold, two shovels, and that is it. There's the katana. So, moving on. Where were we? We were going down here. That's what we're doing. Yeah, that katana is a very good sign that uh, our item management, our item farming, if you will, is working. That is a, an item that belongs this far down. Whoa! Ah, damage that cloak. All right, moving on. Okay, moving on. Where is the good stuff on, on this level? Riddle me that. Probably near a dragon of some kind. Wow, this looks fun. But you're green. He can do damage. Probably wasn't the best thing to do to uh, pretend like he wasn't going to wake up. Here we go. He can do about 200 damage to us. Two, three, four. Okay, he's moving out into the middle for us here. Come on over. Ugh. Come on. Okay, he breathed for nothing. We're safe. Very safe. Huh. That's how you see uh, how strong they are. You, you gauge their uh, breath. So you always watch your hit points. And if they breathe or they do whatever for nothing, no points at all, then they're very hurt. All right. No dragons in sight. No items in sight either. And that is a full board. Going up to 2050. Alright, looking for the cool stuff. Are we going to run out of food on this level? No, not a chance. A lich. I don't want to deal with another Emperor Lich, particularly. Let's just go right past him. Close the door. Thankfully, they stay still. And they're not even that hard to kill. That's... Well, oopsie. That's not good. Well, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Thanks. Double chain. Well, we already ate, so we can't really eat that food. Let's continue south. Mature blue. We're still wielding the uh, Slay Dragon. We shouldn't have done that. And put the Defender back on. So we can see invisible, that's why. Don't see any capital D's. 
So, if you haven't figured it out already, this game is mostly waiting. Waiting for the right stuff to show up. And having the strategies to stay alive. Now, the key about that, excuse me, is uh, knowing when you're in danger. And it's really hard to know when you're in danger at this level. Um, because <clears throat> the danger is so perilous that you could be at a page flip, a map flip point, and uh, certain death can be waiting for you right there, and you wouldn't even know it. You can't know it. So it's, it's, you just have to be very cautious at this level, and uh, that's what it takes to win this game. Um, some cautiousness and a lot of patience, that's for sure. So there's that. Look what we've done there. Okay, we've done about a third. Caps, he's special. I believe uh, a magi. If we had something of the magi, like a an amulet of the magi, or a a cap of the magi, or crown of the magi, we would be well served to wear that. You know what? Right back here is bread. And if we're not going to wear that amulet, we might as well get rid of it. Slow digestion amulet. Or just, yeah, replace it with another amulet. Young Red. Young Red. Chest open, just money. Moving on. All right, where are we at? Feels like we should be farther into this level. All right, doing okay. Where is the stuff? Probably in the special rooms that we haven't found. Just the one. Well, let's connect stuff up here. Okay, moving on. Whoa. Back her up, boys. Okay, I just ran into the darkness and almost ran into a green dragon and woke it up. Very nearly. So, that is a problem, because we can't really go near that dragon, but that is the only place we can really go. Try up here. We might have to abandon this level. We will see.
guess we could probably potentially beat that dragon, but what's the point? Really. The whole point is to stay alive, and it's just like a lottery ticket, basically. I mean, if it breathes on you or not, if it does, you're dead. Simple as that. If it breathes on you in the right time, forget it. That is game over. Restart from the start. All right. The part right there left unchecked. You never know what you might find up in these little nooks and crannies. And there can be a potion just sitting there. Not this time. Oopsie. Where are we? We need to go up one more. Doo -doo. Here we are, at the front. Not gonna run into the darkness, no way. That's how you run right into a green dragon. We've done it before. Live to tell the tale. See that? We're back to this room here. That is as close as we get, folks. That is as close as we get to that. All right, uh, for kicks, let's go up again. This is a done level. Okay, um, where are we? So you can see a general pattern I take when I clear level. It's really about getting to a corner, and then we go all the way around the outside. That's just money, and we don't need money. Not anymore, like, not like we used to. A scroll? Nope. Passion of food, why not? And another scroll we don't need. Darn it. Hungry again. So we might use about six, six uh, rations per level. Okay, back out of there. That's an ancient green, folks. Ancient green. We cannot go in that door. I'm watching that uh, closed door to see if it bursts open. Whew. Isn't that scary? Man. All he's got to do is wake up, and that's it. We're done. Let's go this way instead. Well, I should say, all he's got to do is wake up and then breathe on us. And we're done. Done by a mile. Okay. Let's make our way down to this corner, then. And over here. Pretty calm over here. I want more stuff though, you know? Where's all the equipment that belongs at 2000? I don't know. Hmm. All right. So, we're actually looking for those potions of invulnerability, if you recall. And we don't need very many. Just, like, maybe two more? Maybe three more? And then we will go down to 2,500 and do the job. 
So we're actually pretty close. I see one um, one potion in there. That would be lovely if that was one. I see a wand in there. It could be wand of drain life. That would be awesome. If that was one as well. It's not though. Potion of restore strength. We don't need it. Potion of Restore Constitution, Scroll of Recharging. Well, oops, he breathed frost. He didn't break anything in our pack, thank goodness. Whoa! Don't do that. Don't step on traps. Knowingly. Okay, um... That metal brigandine could be good, but it's not. Okay. Those are the fun rooms right there. Those are the fun rooms. Because there's lots of stuff. Lots of chances at finally finding the stuff we need. Yeah, it doesn't take much once you wield that Slay Dragon weapon. Ooh, what's that? Sure green. Like I said, he can do 200, 200 in a poison gas attack after he's hurt. Ball and chain. Whoa! Okay, we can deal with him. Now he can burn stuff in our pack. Got to hit him with the frost balls, cold balls. And we're out of that, so now we hit him with the, the weapon. And we got him. Okay, we still have everything in our pack. We have two runes of protection and two potions of invulnerability. We have three chances at potions and one chance at a scroll. What is the scroll? Genocide. Strike one. Potion of strength. We can use that. That's good. Bulging Muscles. How about this potion? Restore Strength. Don't need it. Lose Intelligence. Wow, wow, wow. We'll check this, just because it's actually pretty good. 2 die 8. And that is that. What do you think? Not bad? Not great? We had a helper. You know, a stat. I don't I don't think it even affects our ability to hit creatures, does it? I don't I don't know. Did our two hit go up? That's a pretty high two damage there too, yeah. Hey a gelatinous cube. Whoa. Gotta wield the right weapon, folks, so we do not see invisible things. There's the room. All right. A lot of creatures around. Potion? Restore strength. Bastard sword, no thanks. Well, we'll check the bastard sword. Been confused. That sound you heard was uh, the five minutes left sound. All right, um, so what are we going to do? We should probably get up to that top left corner and then we'll, tr we'll leave it there. 
Looks like we have a special room coming up. Yes, sir. What's in there? Giant fire bat. And two items we don't really want. All right, there's something else in here. We didn't see a tick. All right, now what? A cloak, we need a good cloak. But we would like our cloak of stealth even more. Uh-oh, something is awake and coming our way. The green dragon bat. Oh, don't, don't hurt us, dragon bat. Don't break anything in our packs. All right. Okay, we're going to leave it right there, folks. Um, we, uh, the whole point of this was basically just getting a little bit more strength, I guess. You know what? In the next show, we're going to go back down to 2150. And we'll probably go up to the town to get more food. So, until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.